I'll be showing eight new features in Excel. This includes the long requested auto refresh for pivot tables. We brought Copilot chat and AI into all versions of Excel. You no longer need that Copilot license, regex function updates, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is a long time request from Excel users, and that is to be able to automatically refresh pivot table data. So I have some sales data here from my friends at the office space, and I'm gonna select this here, and we're gonna create a new pivot table. So I'll go to insert, and we'll go to pivot table, and I'm gonna put it on the existing worksheet so it's really easy to see where this refreshes. So I'll just click here and hit okay. Now I'm just gonna make a really quick pivot table. We'll have client be the rows, we'll have regions as the column, and then we'll have total revenue. So what this shows is revenue per region. And I'll just close this so you can now see everything. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a new client and watch how it automatically shows up in my pivot table. So over here, I'm gonna quickly add a new client. So instantly you see I added Microsoft, that's the new client spelled with my name, and I'm in the West, the total here, and it just appeared automatically right there in the pivot table. I didn't have to refresh anything. Now just to show what that looks like, if I select the pivot table and I go to pivot table analyze, by default, auto refresh is turned on. That's a new option. And right here it says the pivot table and others linked to the same data source will refresh whenever you make a change. If I don't want this to auto refresh, I can just click this to turn it off. Now by default for new pivot tables, it's gonna be on by default. Now, if you have older workbooks that are a year old or two years old, it's gonna be off by default. So when you have Excel booted, you can select that pivot table, go to pivot table, analyze, and then enable auto refresh. And note, I'm gonna just highlight this row right here, and I'm gonna delete it. And that disappeared right off that pivot table. Undo, and it appears again. Huge time saver for Excel users. The second new feature is a really big announcement that came out recently, and that is that Copilot Chat is now coming to a bunch of the Office apps. That's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. So I'm on the Home tab here, and you're gonna see Copilot Chat right there. Now this is the more lightweight Copilot Chat. It's not the full $30 a month, but the good news is Copilot Chat, I'm gonna click this, this is now available to all Microsoft 365 subscribers. Now this Copilot chat is more limited, but it can still do a bunch of cool stuff. So this Copilot chat on the right can look at all of your Excel data and you can have interactions with it really easily and they're very useful. You can make this pane a bit bigger so I have more space. So there's a bunch of starter prompts I can try. If I choose see more, I have a bunch more options. You've got enterprise data protection. So for commercial customers and education customers, safe, secure, compliant Copilot chat. I can make a new chat right here. There are some other options right here, but we're gonna get started in a very simple way, which is analyze this workbook and give me interesting data insights. So I click that and then I'll hit go. Copilot's gonna think here. Okay, here's a bunch of insights. Sales performance insights, a lot of interesting data. Expense analysis, employee sentiment, and it says, would you like a visualization of these insights, charts or dashboards, or a summary report to Excel? So you know what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and copy this, make a new sheet, and I'm just gonna paste. So I've got a bunch of really interesting insights right here. But now, you know what? I think I am gonna say, show me sales trend charts. Okay, let's try this. Okay, total revenue over time, that looks interesting. Revenue trend by region. Revenue trend by product, a lot of really interesting charts. And I can just copy this here, preview copied, and if I'm gonna go and create a new sheet, hit paste, and there we go. Look at that, flare pens, TPS report cover sheets, and I can go and generate all sorts of insights. Now let's say I wanna create a new chat. I'll hit new chat, and I'm gonna say see more, and let's see what else is in here. Tell me best practices about data cleansing, Analyze the data, performing a regression analysis. Are there any trends in this data? Okay. Oh, hey, teach me something about Excel. That's what I'm doing right now. But we'll say, are there any trends in this data? And we'll hit go. Monthly revenue trend. Okay, that's interesting. Top products by revenue. This bar chart shows which products has the most revenue. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, TPS report cover sheets. There's a lot of revenue going on there. That's the top performer. Revenue distribution by region and so on. And it has sources where it pulled these things from. So here are all the sources. 
So you can get a sense here. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with Copilot Chat in Excel. I'm not going to do too much more of a deep dive, but this is rolling out now to Microsoft 365 Insiders. So if you don't see it in October 2025, you should see it very soon. The third new feature is one of my favorites, especially with big tables where you're clicking around and it kind of is hard to see where you're at in a big Excel spreadsheet. So on the View tab, if you go to Focus Cell, and this is now globally rolled out to everyone, click this, and I've got a nice purple color here. Now when I click, it highlights the row and the column so I can see exactly where I am wherever I click and I'm not getting lost in my spreadsheet. If I want to change the color, I can go up here and let's say in this, I'm going to change it to red. So now when I click, so pick your favorite color and turn on focus cell. If you have a really big spreadsheet and you want to make sure you know where you're at, if I want to turn that off. I just click it again and it's gone. The bonus with focus cell is that it automatically now turns on when you do a find or a find and replace. So let's say I'm going to try to do a find here and I'm going to search for Halpert and we'll just hit find next automatically it turns on focus cell. Hey, there's Jim Halpert and it'll find the next one and it keeps jumping. So I can keep track of exactly where I am when I'm using find and replace. The fourth new feature is a small one, but it's actually important. I think because Excel has a brand new icon, just updated the office icons across the board, word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote and teams. And I'm going to open up my taskbar. You're going to see this shiny, beautiful green new icon in Excel. If you go to the file menu, you're going to see that the file types also have the new little shiny icon. I've also put it on the screen. Even in the upper left, that Excel icon has been updated. So celebrate the new Excel icon. It's very beautiful. And the new office icons, I think in general are really nice. If you go into OneDrive, you'll see all the beautiful new icons, including Excel right here. So watch for the new icons they are rolling out now. The fifth new feature is improvements to drawing tools. I have my office space employee survey here. All my favorite friends have left some nice comments like stop calling me Michael Bolton. So I'm going to go to the draw tab and the first couple features are adding new pen types. So we've got a fountain pen and a brush pen. So I'll choose fountain pen and it adds it here and I'll choose red and maybe my size will be here. And now what I'm going to do is be able to draw with a nice fountain pen. Oh, isn't that pretty a fountain pen? I can go and I can circle this. Yeah. If you can come in on a Saturday, I'll erase these and then I'm going to add a brush pen. So this is really pretty. We'll leave it in green and this lets me draw with a nice brush stroke. Ooh, isn't that pretty? And again, I'm going to remove this one. These are different pen types, but now you can also add more and more pens to your drawing tool. So I want to have lots of different types of pens. Maybe I want to have a few different highlighters. We'll have a green highlighter and we'll have a, Another pen type will make rainbow ink. If you haven't seen rainbow ink, it is beautiful. Make it a little smaller here. And, oh, look at that rainbow ink. I was told there would be cake. So you can add lots of different pens and pencils to your palette and you can expand this quite a bit. The sixth new feature is improvements to data types in Excel. I'm going to go to the data tab and here are some data types, stocks, currency, geography. Now I have five countries here and I'll go click geography. It adds this nice little icon here to indicate a data type and this little hover insert data. And there is a ton of really interesting stuff here. So many pieces of data that are pulled in. This is through Bing in the back end. to get the data type card that has everything. Here's all the latest stuff right here. So you can explore which ones you want. Everything from market cap of companies, out of pocket, health expenditures, all sorts of data. But I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back and choose this and there's all these different options. Maybe I just want to pull out capital or major city and there's Washington DC. And if I go here, it's going to pull all that data right in. Now I can drill into Washington DC and get even more information, all sorts of good stuff here. But what I'm going to do is I can go back to the United States, click this and maybe I'm going to put agricultural land percentage that pulls that out. So a ton of accessible information instantly by these little data types. Same thing with stocks. I'll select these four stocks here and choose stocks. It instantly makes it into these data type cards. So I will go and we'll hover over Microsoft. I can get that action data type card, just like you saw above all sorts of great information. We'll add market cap and go down here and add those. We're going to go back and select some other information. How about number of employees? Pull that out. 
So very easy to interoperate and pull out super useful data from these data types. The seventh new feature is a new function called regex extract. And this is using regex text manipulation and data manipulation that's really popular all over the world. Now you can bring those functions into Excel. I'm gonna show a couple examples. So I've got some names here that are all stuck together. I'm gonna go here and choose equals and we're gonna type regex extract and then open parentheses. So the first thing to do is select the text you want. So we want cell A2 and then I'll do comma and now I'm gonna do quotes and we're gonna do bracket and this is regex language. So we're gonna look for the first letter that is capital A through Z. So I'm looking for one letter, the letter M and to keep this simple, I'm gonna do another bracket and do lowercase a to z, close the bracket. I want the next letter it finds that is a lowercase letter. And then I'm gonna close the quotes and close the parentheses and hit enter. And it just returns the first two letters, the capital M and the capital I from Michael Scott. So really easy right there. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna say, look for all of the lowercase letters that could exist after the first capital letter. So on this little A to Z, I'm now gonna just add a plus. And that really means look for all of the lowercase letters that might follow a capital letter. Now, just to show what other options there are, I'm gonna put after the quote and hit a comma. And so it's defaulting to say, just return the first match. And that means look for the first capital letter, then all the lowercase letters and just return that. So this should pull out Michael. So I'll hit enter and there's Michael. Okay, I double click. Now it has all the first ones. But now I wanna split out all of the first capital letter and the name, so Michael Scott, Jim Halpert. Looks like Dwight Trout is the best, has a bunch of different words here. So to do that, we're gonna go back up here to where that comma is. And in this case, for the return mode, I wanna make a one, because that's gonna return all matches. Like you saw before, just to show that again, when I have the comma, there are three options. First match, all matches and capture groups of the first match. So we want it to be all matches. So let's see what happens. Michael Scott, there we go. If I drag that down to replicate the formula, and this one, Dwight Trout is the best. So it split out all the matches it found of that first capital letter, then lowercase letters, etc. There's lots of different stuff you can do with regex extract. You can do numbers and all sorts of things with phone numbers and all sorts of addresses. These are just some simple things, so play around with this. The eighth new feature is similar to the last one, but this one is called regex replace. And this is using regex again, and we're gonna use it to replace things. And I wanna replace these numbers here in the phone number with an asterisk to hide them. So I'll type equals and then type regex replace and open parentheses. First select the text, cell A2, then a comma, and now a quote, just like in the last function. And I'll do a bracket and we'll say zero to nine. So it's gonna search for all numbers here and then I'm gonna do close quote and a comma. Now it's gonna say, what do you wanna replace each of those numbers with? So we'll keep this simple, a quote and then an asterisk and then close quote and then close parentheses and hit enter. So it just scanned through every time it found a number, it replaced it with an asterisk. So I just go here and now all my numbers are hidden. There are a bunch of other things you can explore with regex, it gets quite complicated. This is just a simple version but there are links in the description to help you get started with lots more different examples. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.